Okay, I've got my mic on, should be able to hear me. But uh, this is going to be a short video. I know for the last few years I've been refilling these <clears throat> isobutane canisters. I've been refilling them with butane. And uh, this is an 8 ounce can. And uh, it's free to me <laughs> because my wife, the Orion, uh, th these are laying around the house by the dozens. So all I do is just take one of hers. And um, by the way, that's two things you're going to find in a Korean household. In fact, any Asian, you're going to find two things. You're going to find a ri rice cooker, and you're going to find that little square bur uh, butane burner. Them are the two things you're going to find. Isn't that right, Mike? I got two. He's got, yeah, that's two things that's in the house. But anyway, I, I've been refilling these with the appropriate adapters, but I got to thinking, and Mike did point out, why am I doing that? Why don't I just use this direct? And uh, I said, and I told him that that would be nice if I, I'd be nice if I had, uh, if I had this kind of, um, right here, if I had this, this kind of screw on that was here. Now, if, if, if by some magic, I could just snap my fingers and say, abracadabra, bam, look at this, abracadabra, that worked real good. Now, now I can screw I actually I can screw anything in there, any of the butane, any of the little stoves to go in there. Now I don't recommend a, like a BRS or anything because this this is too high. The profile is too dangerous, I would think. So so now that that is now that is on there, this is usable. So what I did, oh by the way, they do sell a stand, a canister stand, if you determine to use it. But honestly, it it just would be too high. Not not recommended, but I went to my the cupboard where I keep all my stoves, and I had two two in there that I could use, and one is this here. It's a it's a I say Covia. How you say the Koreans call it? Covia. Covia. It's it's a Korean product. Mike being Korean, he said they say Covia, but if it's in this country and we see it as Covia, that's correct. It doesn't matter, Covia, Covia, whatever, wherever you at, that's the correct way to pronounce it. But um, so I got it out. I had this one and the uh, and the Optimus Vega, V E G A, I think Vega. Both, uh, either, I could have used either one of those. But I brought this one. This one comes with a little sparky. <laughs> but the reason I brought this one, it's, it's the Covia spider. And I guess you can kind of see why it's referred to as a spider. But why I brought it, it was, look, I can now screw that. Let me turn this off. I can now screw this butane canister right in there. How about that? So now, <laughs> now. I can use it direct from the can. I don't have to. I don't have to refill these little canisters. I smell gas. Is that you? I'm smelling. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. I hope I ain't leaking over here. I do my aqua. Now I, I brought this one for a couple of reasons. It's not. It's not raining tonight. But um, if I had to cook in my vestibule, I could poach out one side, which I did last week. But um, this has got a lower profile, so. I can cook in the vestibule with one side poached out or either folded up. But uh, anyway, let's light it up. Now here's my old Soto torch. <laughs> How about that, Mike? Not make me jealous again. The only thing about using pure butane instead of this isobutane is that there, there is a degree. Like I think. Um, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is freezing, butane is not going to be as effective. That's why they mix it with this isobutane, and that's why it costs more because the, they have to. The process is different. But I've been using this butane in these canisters for years, and I've never had a problem. Now, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is zero centigrade. That is what I know about centigrade. <laughs> All right. Well, let's boil some water here. I 
Mike, that's great. That I don't, I don't have to buy. <laughs> oh, Mike, how much did yeah. this? How much Mike buys these um, canisters, this butane, all the time? How much do these cost? Five dollars for four of them. Four for five dollars. There's eight ounces, so four for five dollars. That's a buck and a quarter each, I guess, yeah. or something like that. Well, that's but um, that's that's because we got around Atlanta. We got at least five mega Asian stores. And the competition is such that's how it can be. So you get four for five, four of these canisters for five dollars. This is a lock sack, it's supposed to be older proof. So that's that. I think I'll close it down. It all works. You can save some money. Just get you either that Optimus stove that has that uh, uh, whatever that tube is there, or the um, or this uh, Covia spider. I put links in to that adapter and this stove. So you save a bunch of money. Yes, yeah, save a bunch of money. Yeah. But like gotta, us hiking every weekend. Yeah, every weekend. Let's save a lot of money. Yeah. But um got to learn to control it I see but once you cut it off once you cut it off they still got to burn the fuel out of this line yeah, the remote, uh, it's almost done and no sense you sitting around watching me eat it so I'll go ahead and end this video and uh, see you next time kind of um, right here if I had this this kind of screw on that was here. Now, if, if if by some magic I could just snap my fingers and say abracadabra, bam. Look at there. Abracadabra, that worked real good. Now, now I can screw, I actually I can screw anything. I can now screw this butane canister right in there. Like this, look at him. Oops. How about that?